Hello, um, my name is Shalanda. Um, I like to make things. I'm a crafting woman, and I've, for the past four years, I've been kind of living more of a lifestyle where I kind of make majority of my own skincare products. And as lately, I have been making about almost a year now, I've been making my own um, laundry soap. So um, I'm gonna show you a video on how I do it and the products that I use. Um, hope you enjoy. All right, um, some of the things that you would need to make this laundry soap would be um, almond amber baking soda, um, and this is a four pound box. Um, you will need a bar of soap, soap, that's Z-O-T-E, Z-O-T-E, soap, soap, it comes in pink and it comes in a white. Either one will work. And with that soap, soap, you're going to shred it down. I already shredded down majority of it um, right here. This is the remaining that I have left that I was going to shred on camera. Just a little small piece. Because it does take about 25 minutes to shred down two bars. That was how long it took me um, to sh shred down the soap. You will need a sh shredder. Um, you will want to use the smaller size. That's the size you want to use. This is the larger side. This is a larger side as well. And then they have the little prickly side. And then they have this side. I was using this side as first, but it was taking it too long. So, this is the side I went with. So, you're going to need a, a shredder. The next thing you will need is some type of um oxygen clean i got the um i used the one on the ellie totally awesome um it have chlorine free and it's a the oxygen orange that's what it is and i use this whole container and this container is 32 ounces another option that you can choose is if you can't find that one um it's the la totally awesome power oxygen it's the same thing as the other one. It's just a smaller container and it don't have the orange flavor smell to it, scent to it. But this is another option. And you will use two of these if you chose this option. This option is 16 ounces. And again, it's the LA Totally Awesome Oxygen Base Cleaner. And that's another option. It's either this one or the other. All right. This is my first time putting in the powder bleach, and it says color safe, and it's a citrus scent. I'm going to put in one box of this, and this is 24 ounces. That's the network of this one. So it's powder bleach, color safe. Also, we're going to use the 20 Muting Borax. Um, this box is 4 pounds, and it's a detergent booster. And we're going to also use, please excuse the dog barking, that's my neighbor dog. Um, I have two of the um, am, the Arm & Hammer, the um, Clean Sensation, and this is a scent booster to make our clothes smell nice and fresh. So this is what I have for that. Um, I have the Tropical Paradise as well as the Fresh Burst, and I am going to combine both of them. So I'm going to finish shredding down the rest of my bar soap and this is the side that I'm doing so I'm just gonna sit it on my bucket and just shred it down and like I said this takes this, this part of the process to get both bars shredded down it takes a little minute to get it on you know a few minutes to get it done so that's why I wanted to get that part done before I started video in this video I didn't want to time my video up with 30 minutes of me shredding down so and be very careful when doing this because if you haven't used a cheese shredder shredded cheese before this can skin you so and make sure you wear gloves as well and you should not do this around animals um, for the borax 
or if you have a dog, make sure you wash up your space that you made your soap in. So that way you don't have to, you know, lick it, the powders or whatever. So just kind of put some hot water with some soap, some hot soapy water down afterwards. Which I'm probably going to wind up one is that since I see my neighbor dog is hanging around. Yeah, little cutie. All right, so I finished that. And this is my two packages from my two bars of soap. And this is how much soap I got. And you want a big enough container so when it's time to stir it all, it makes it combine it all, you have space to do soap. So this is the container that I use. And this here lasts me, once I finish combining everything, it lasts me about about four months for the washing soap. So um, it doesn't matter which order you store it in. Because everything is going to go in a bucket. And if you want to do this in a liquid form, you can do this also in a liquid form as well, not just in a powder form. You can use the same ingredients, but you're going to combine it with water. And you have to watch a video on YouTube on how to do that because I only made I have only made the um powder form. So that is my almond hammer baking soda. Next I'm gonna put in my Next, I'm going to put in my um, oxygen booster. And you can save this. I saved the container for this and I, whenever I get ready to wash, uh, and I just fill this up with my washer powder. And you can also use, um, put a face mask on because once you dump these powders up, the some of the powder fumes comes up and you can taste it in the air. So you can wear a face mask for that to keep you from inhaling those films. Next, I'm gonna do my bleach. And this is a powder bleach that's safe for color. So I'm trying to pour it low so it won't come up, the films won't come up. Okay. The next thing I'm going to pour over is my, yeah, see the little dog? I'm going to wait till he passes. So I'll be back, guys. All right, I'm back, guys. All right, so remember we used the Zoke Bar Soap. I used two bars of those. I used a box of Almond Hammer baking soda. I use um, the powder bleach, a box of that, um, safe for color. And I also use the oxygen um, base cleaner for, um, for cleaning boost. So now I'm gonna add in, and the little dog gets going inside. All right, so we shouldn't have no disruptions anymore. Um, so now I'm gonna add in my borax. And again, you can wear a face mask when pouring these powders in because they, the films do come up. So I'm going to just lightly just try to pour this in because I don't have my face mask on. I don't want it that much fumes to pop up. Was this and it's a four pound box and it says a detergent booster and a multi-purpose household cleaner helps remove stains and neutralizes the odors all right so my next thing I'm going to pour over is my almond hammer clean sensation beads and I have two of these containers and this container is 15 ounces so I'm pouring in total ounces will be 30. So that's 
one. And here's my second one. Another 15 ounce of the scent booster. And I like those colors. <laughs> I got a pink and a purple. And can you can also use the downy or uh, any scent booster. So now that I have all of the all of the ingredients, and I got me a, a spoon. And I'm just gonna mix them all in. I'm not gonna stir crazily wild with it. Because again, I don't want the the fumes from the powder to seep up. And I go to tasting it in the air. So yeah, that's all you do. And you just, you know, mix it till you get it 100% incorporated. And you can choose to separate this container if you want, you know, into little smaller buckets or containers. But you know, I got a thick piece. I'm about to crunch this one up with my hand. I've been having these products for a while. When I buy them, I buy, I buy multiple boxes of everything. So that way, when I get low, I ain't got to worry about if I go to the store and there's none there. And, you know, now I have to buy um, the regular, you know, soap powder, which is game is what I was using before I started making my own. And whenever I use this, I don't use bleach either. You can choose to use bleach when you wash your white clothes, but I don't use any. And remember to get to the bottom of it because you want to also incorporate those shredded pieces of soap that you have shredded up at first. So just it's, it take a minute to get it all done. But it's worth it. The total process for me making my own laundry detergent might take me about 40, 40 minutes. And not even that long probably. About 40 minutes because it take long to kind of shred it up for me it takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to get both bars shredded down and then after that just a the you know pouring the boxes over the, the, the other ingredients in which is a box and a jar so they don't take long to open and pour over and then the rest of the time is spent with mixing and again like i said if you want to take these same ingredients and make it into a water-based product you can do that as well just the same ingredients but I have never made it that way but I know you can do it that way and they have videos on YouTube that shows you know the steps and how to get it from powder form to water to a water based product but, yeah. so I'm just kind of going through and pulling from the bottom my shredded pieces so you want to make sure you wear gloves with this and not none that's going to tear easily. So those little um, latex gloves and things like this, the regular little small, the thin latex gloves won't really work with this. Because you're going to wind up ripping through it. And it's going to get all over your hands. And it's going to dry your hands out because of the, the ingredients. You know, you got bleach in here. You have borax in here. So you don't want your hands to get full of that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure your gloves is nice and sturdy so they want not be getting ripped up during the process and yeah as you see uh, let me try to take some of it off so i can show you what it kind of looks like probably doesn't seem to be that but yeah you're gonna see the shredded up pieces in there. You're gonna see, like, this is a piece of the um, soap soap right here. Uh, you're gonna see your little beads in there from your own. Um, that's what you see them little purple specks. But they got purple and pink, pink specks in there. And that's from your scent booster. So, yeah. So, this is how I make my laundry soap. I haven't brought laundry soap in almost a year. And. I found this on YouTube, so yeah, just give it a try and see if you like it. And I probably spent about 
close to 30 something dollars on all the um, products to get it to make it and like I said this lasts me about four five months this will last you this one container unless you have you know I only have a family of four so that's but if you have a larger family I don't know but it's worth it it cleans my clothes I save money I don't have to buy regular um, Clorox bleach anymore um, my guy friend he's a mechanic and it cleans his clothes real good it really the all stains and I only use about two teaspoons to four teaspoons not te tablespoons I'm gonna say so this little measuring container here is a tablespoon tablespoon size so you can use two of these scoops for like a small load to a medium load. Um, if you have a large load, I, um, load, I put about four loads whenever I have a large load. And if I'm washing like heavy jeans or towels, a lot of times I put four. And so, or blankets or whatever, you know, whatever you have. And I pretty much, I scoop this up, scoop a um, container full of inside of this container. I hold on to my scoop. I don't throw my scoop away. It, com it comes with this container. And, um, you know, and I use it like this. And whenever I run low, I refill my container. And this is what I do. So, um, hopefully, y'all will start, you know, saying, stop buying, spending your money, all that money on um, gain and tie. You can make these products at your house, your own laundry soap that you don't even have to um, use no bleach with. Like, I use, I have powder bleach in here, but I paid a dollar for that powder bleach. So, I mean, it is worth it. It's cost effective. Um, it cleans the clothes. Um, we have not had any, um, me or either my kids or my mother or people who have purchased this for me before or even, um, that I gift this to, they have never had, um, or let me know that they had any kind of allergic re reaction to it. Um, but remember it's borax that's inside of this, almond hammer, baking soda, oxygen, basically, um, um, oxygen cleaning booster. Um, what else I have in here? Some scent boosters and I have soap soap. Um, they sell it in the flakes and they sell it in a bar. I have never used it, the flakes. I only have purchased the bar and I shred it down using a cheese shredder on the lowest setting that I can get it on. And that's about it. And it's like a 40, 40 to 45 minute process of making the soap itself. Um, so yeah, just watch the video. It's pretty easy steps. Um, yeah, and make your soap. And stop buying laundry soap at the store. All right, guys. Check catch y'all on my next video. Um, like I said, I make other products, not just this. I make skincare products as well, like soap, bath soap. I also make my own bar soap. Um, I make my own bar soap. I make my own shampoo. I make my own scrubs. I do my. I make my own wax. Um, today's an off day for me today, so of course I'll be waxing a little bit later. Uh, so yeah, y'all have a great day and be blessed.